Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time y'all watching this, man. Yo, once in a while, man, I hear an MC and I go, who is this? Let's talk about it, man. Primo the Great, spelled P-R-E-M-O the Great. You got an album or a project called Five Dot Y Dot L. So five Y L basically means five years later. And it's produced fully by Jamal Johnson. I got a Jamal Johnson in my family. I'm like, was that him? Nah, he didn't produce it. But check this out, man. These guys been friends since high school. And this producer, Jamal Johnson, just started making beats early this year. And guess what? They're incredible beats, man. And not just incredible beats. This MC is freestyling on all these beats, except for the last one. I think he, it was written, but it was written like Nas, ah, Nas, Nas, Nas. But yo, this MC right here, stop playing, man. He's freestyling off these beats. You have to listen to this project. Check, 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 check for this record. Stop playing. Let's get into it, man. All right, so producers, like I said, producer and the MC, um, they met in high school about like five years ago. They, I mean, they're young, man. These are, I think they, I think they probably 20, 21, something like that. They, they, they still young bucks, man. They, they, you know what I mean? They're doing their thing. Now, uh, this project reflects their progress, you know what I'm saying? So the, that's why it's called Five Years Later. So they, you know what I'm saying? I guess they knew each other for five years and now they putting out a project. Now, the, the producer, Jamal, never did beats back in the day, but y'all got to check for Primo the Great's previous work. He got other albums and other projects out, so go check for him. I'm just, I'm checking for them. You know what I'm saying? This is the first project that I've reviewed. This is the first project that I've listened to from Primo the Great. And um, I have to do my homework on his uh, previous work. So I have to do the same thing y'all do. And I'm telling y'all do homework when I got to do it too. But this is a great, great project. So I won't be reviewing it and telling you guys to check for a record if it wasn't good. All right. So, all right. So I know uh, I've been chatting with them back and forth on Instagram. So go check out their Instagram, Primo the Great, and you got um, Jamal Johnson. And uh, I'll link their uh, Instagrams and other links in the descriptions if they uh, do give them to me. You know what I'm saying? But they got visuals coming out for this album soon, so check for those. You know what I mean? Now, Primo the Great rhymes about reality. Like, all MCs should. You know how like people be like, oh, this dude was never a drug dealer. Oh, this dude was never... You know, went to Harvard or something, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Talking with uh, Primo the Great on Instagram, he's basically telling me everything he's he's written or freestyling is true to the game. It's basically his lifestyle or whatever. And I'm, you know what I'm saying? And it's nothing too crazy. It's not like he's saying I was Pablo the, you know, the drug dealer. And he's not, you know, he's not going bananas like that. And these rhymes, he's telling the truth. It's like realistic bars that you can relate to. As a, just as a human being, you know what I'm saying? So I like this album, you know what I'm saying? Let's get into it. Like I said, he freestyled. Oh my God, I'm going to say it again. There's not a lot of MCs, a lot of, a lot of MCs that can just freestyle on a beat. Now, and not just these, just any beat. These beats are soulful. I told you I'm a sucker for soulful beats. I'm a sucker for this stuff. I'm a sucker for Motown samples or, 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 or any type of samples, any type of like melodies that got me back into that groove of when I was growing up and I had to like do chores while I'm listening to like, you know, say the, the classic records like the Stevie Wonders and the Marvin Gaye's and the, you know what I mean? People like that and Smokey Robinson's and stuff like that. So shout out to both these uh, brothers uh, for uh, um, putting this work together. Oh yeah, and I forgot where to tell y'all where they from. Uh, so basically, I, you know, in the beginning, I usually say I'm from, I'm going from Boston to whatever. I'm going from Boston to Virginia and then I'm going from Boston to uh, Lynn Mass. Bean Town, baby! So uh, Primo the Great is from Virginia. And uh, Jamal Johnson's from Lynn Mass. So shout out to Massachusetts. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing. But let's get into this, man. Let's get right into it, man. Check for records. It's only seven songs. It's only uh, it came out 10, 16, 20, 17 minutes, 8 seconds, okay? But. Great, great 17 minutes, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been listening to this album over and over. And I actually, I've been listening to this album more than other albums that came out that day, Friday. So, 
No disrespect to other artists, but I'll do their reviews, and their reviews are coming out soon, too. All right? But the first song is called Almighty Zigzag. It's a soulful sound. Great on the mix. This producer's great with the soulful uh, sound. The, great for the, the, mix, the mixing, the way he, like, intertwines, like, movie um, scriptures or something like that. Or And he got this Joker uh, laugh. I think it's, I don't know if it's, uh, I forget what Joker it is, but I, I think it's, um... What's the one that passed away? I can't remember. Um, but it sounds like that Joker laugh. And I and I, I talked to Jamar. I said, yo, what, what's up with that Joker laugh? It's dope. He goes, that's his signature. Um, you know what I mean? It's, you know how like, producers have signatures. And, you know, it could be like, um, you know, people going to, like, song come on, people, they, they say their name or something like that or whatever, or they scratch or something, whatever. Um, Primo, got, you can tell Primo's beats, DJ Premier's beats by... Um, the way he scratches or something sometimes. You know what I'm so you can go, oh, I know that's Primo already. Don't mix up Primo the great with Pre DJ Premier. I'm just mixing, I'm trying to, I'm not trying not to mix that up. But um, yeah, man. So this 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 MC controls the beat. He's a great wordsmith, you know. Um if he especially if he's man, he's freestyling on these beats. It's incredible. Like, there's not a lot of MCs that do that. Like Jay-Z does it, Biggie used to do it. Um you know, there's a lot of MCs that 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 say they they still do it. I think Papoose does it. There's a, there's a, I can't remember all the MCs that do it, but just to hear a beat and then you just take it, man, and you just go, okay, I got it, and then you freestyle it, like you, you know what I mean. I think Benny the Butcher does it too, and I, um, I don't know if Conway does it. I think Conway writes a lot, but I'm just thinking about MCs right now. It's relevant. People are talking about. Uh, I know people are talking about Griselda like crazy, but um, yeah. So this I like number one. It's my rotation, Almighty Zigzag. Love this song. Number two, Power. Man, this producer again knows how to work the boards, man. Like, he's good with the samples. He's good with the, like, I, I, you know, I don't know all the producer talk, but it's just the way he puts together a track and the way he formats it and the way he, like, you know, he does a break or he does, he ends it or even begins it. It's just the way he tackles these beats. Man, I'm already, I'm already like, a fan, you know what I'm saying? This MC is a problem. I'm telling you, this MC is a problem. Especially, I'm, I'm gonna bring it up again. He's freestyling, guys. He's freestyling over these beats. When you listen to this album, check for this record. I'm telling you, check this record. You, you won't be disappointed. You're gonna go, okay, all right. You're gonna put this MC. You're gonna start checking for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, I gotta do my own work and start listening to his previous work. But this album right here, this project right here, got me on board. He got me on board with this this project. Well, they both do. Uh, number three is De La Hoya. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Producer sounds like um like a veteran. Like I said, he was only he's only I think he started doing these beats this this year. Matter of fact, I think this summer. <sighs> Come on, man. You started. That means he's like really mastering the, the boards. He's really mastering. I don't know if he's he's got like a, a, a teacher or if he got like mentors. Or if he's just like listen to other beats and he can pick it up. Some people just got musicians. They can they got good ear for music, and they just can do it. And maybe this this uh, maybe Jamal, um, he just got that talent. Some people just got that talent. They can hear something and go, okay, I got it. Some people could just pick up a, 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 a guitar and start playing. Some people can. Some people can't. You know what I'm saying? Just that's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So De La La, I mean De La Hoya, sorry. Um, and then Primo the uh, Great Man. Um, he's boxing the beats, man. He's, he's, he's doing it, man. He's, he's, he's just champion on champion with the bars. Um, I gotta give it up to him, man. I gotta give it up to him. I'm falling in love with the MC, the way he tackles these beats, the way he um, manipulates around these beats. You can tell, like he, he's 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 still, you can tell he's a veteran. I think he's been rhyming for at least five years, um, and I think that's why the title is called Five Years Later or F Y L. But um, and I think five years ago, he started taking rap serious. So maybe he was just in, in and out freestyles, bugging out. And then somebody was like, yo, man, you got to take this serious. And so I'm glad he did. And uh, this is the first al album or project that I'm um, reflecting on. And I'm glad this is the first one because like, I got to get into his bag now and start listening to other ones too. Uh, number four, Riddick Enterprise. Another great soulful uh, track blend by the producer. Producer's in his bag, man. I got to give it up to the producer. I'm hoping they got an album coming out soon. Come on, man. You got to get an album, man. Come on, man. Give me an album. Um, 17 Minutes is great, man. It's, something, it's one of them, 
them, them album projects that you can listen to over and over again. You can just, you know what I'm saying? If you're riding or if you're chilling in the house. But come on, I want an album, man. Give me another 17 minutes, you know what I'm saying? But um, he goes, uh, uh, you know, I can't rhyme, but I'm going to do a little, little something, something. He goes, before I change the world, I got to change Primo. Now, I like that. You know, I try to take bars that relate to just life itself or, 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 or I can reflect on, you know what I'm saying? Maybe relate to me. And I get it. It's like Michael Jackson saying, I, the man in the mirror. I the man in the mirror. Can't do it. Can't do it. I can't do it. Sorry. I can't. My Michael Jackson sucks. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Michael Jackson. R.I.P. But um, before I change the world, I got to change Primo. I get it. Got to change yourself. You got to make, you know what I'm saying? You got to work on yourself before you can change the world. That's for everybody. Work on yourself. And especially being in quarantine, you guys, I hope you guys picked up a, a, a some type of trade, some type of other job skill. Hope you guys read some books. Hope you guys uh, picked up a job, another job, making some more income. Hopefully y'all picked up a skill. Maybe y'all producing. Maybe y'all maybe producing like Jamal, Jamal Johnson. Maybe he picked up, maybe that's why he picked up a deucing. And maybe that's why, you know, because of the epidemic. I have no idea. I didn't ask him that. But um, I'm glad he did. I'm glad he did. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are getting more talented during this epidemic. Kind of slowed the world down a little bit. And it's kind of making people shine. You know what I'm saying? So I, it's kind of it's pros and cons but with COVID. I mean, it's always it's more cons because it's killing people, of course. And shout out to everybody that lost uh, somebody that passed away and stuff like that. So, um but number five, part of my back, all right? Part of my back, baby, I like this. I like this. I like the way, I like this. I like the, um, the uh, song, song titles too, you know what I'm saying? Part of my back, uh, this, this project already, five tracks in, I'm like, who is this dude? Like, I was just like, who are these, who, who are the producers? I didn't know who they were at first. I just like somebody, you know, like, uh, like I said, since I um, review albums, sometimes a lot of people put, they go, yo, can you review this album? Yo, can you review this album? And I'm like, I'll look at it. I'll check it out. But um, and I do give it a chance. I don't play. I don't lie. I give it a chance. But this one, I'm glad they um, submitted it to me. Great, great project. Um, MC putting realistic, timeless bars, man. Realistic, timeless bars. I can't say say enough, man. Let's go to number six, Rayfo. Um, dude, I can listen to these tracks all day. I can listen to this track all day. It just got that feeling. It gives you a feeling. When music gives you a feeling, that's when that's when it's that's when it gets that that classic material where people start saying it's a classic. Or people start saying this is a great record. Or people start saying, you got to check this out. This album, this project gives me a great feeling, a good feeling. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's soulful. It's a really soulful joint. You know what I'm saying? And I and I appreciate it. Um, this is another, I'm, here go me attempting again, trying to rhyme off this dude's bars. But he goes something like, um, I'm Derek Jeter with the pitch. I'm the greatest with the bars. Marvin Gaye with the sniff. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Speaking of soulful tracks, he, he misses Marvin Gaye. You know what I'm saying? Marvin Gaye, he had a drug problem. He did do drugs. A lot of people did drugs back then. You know what I'm saying? People do drugs now. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, man. So that, I, that stood out, man. Something like that was dope. Especially on the soulful track. It kind of reminded me of, of, you know, back in the day. And then he's talking about Marvin Gaye. So I'm like, oh, okay. That went with it, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to this team. Shout out to this team, man. Shout out to this project. Number seven, last joint. Uh, Primo, uh, let me get it right. Basque, Basque, Basquette. Because it's like Marquis, Basquette, Basquette. Basquette, I'm sorry. Primo, Basquette, um, Piasco. Not Piasco. <laughs> now I'm messing up. Paulo Pica. Picasso, Lord have mercy. Primo Basquiat Picasso, Lord have mercy. You know what I'm saying? Say that, that's a tongue twister. Say that three times, four times in a row. You know what I'm saying? Remember those tongue twisters back in the day? You know what I'm saying? We used to get, have to do them in school or just mess around in school. Um, but yo, that's a, that's a tongue twister. Um, I'm tuned in, man. This this album right here, this project, whatever you want to call it, is great, man. I like it. Seven tracks, just enough. Uh, time for me to um, adore the the beat making, the sounds. Just enough time for me to get to know the MC a little bit and admire the MC and the producer together. 
You guys work very well together. Uh, I love, like I said, I love the soulful samples. I love the, this albums like this give you a feeling. I keep telling you, it's, it's a feeling. Good music gives you a feeling. If you're not feeling something, man, you might, you know, I'm skipping stuff if it's not, it doesn't give me a good feeling. This gives me a good feeling. I like this project. Uh, producers in his bag. And, and and I like the way, like I said, I like the way he breaks down things and does the mixes and he puts the movie lines in. I like the little Joker laugh of this. It is it is cool. I do like his signature. I like the signature um Joker laugh. Um, Joaquin Phoenix. That's who it is. Joaquin Phoenix. That's the Joker laugh. I think. I think that's the Joaquin Phoenix Joker laugh. Um, R.I.P. to Joaquin Phoenix too, man. A lot of R.I.P.s. R.I.P. to whoever out there people lost and you know what I'm saying. It's real man. I lost the aunt. Uh, during COVID, and it really sucked, man. I miss her. I miss you, Gladys. Um, I think that's the first time I said her name, but uh, you know, I'm healing. I'm healing. But shout out to this project, man. Primo the Great, great MC. Uh, I'm gonna be checking for you. I'm gonna be checking for Jamal Johnson too. Uh, you a Johnson? You must be. A, yo, I'm a Johnson. I'm a I'm a Walker Johnson, man. So you might be in a family. You gotta check if you blood, man. <laughs> I'm trying to get some money. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> yeah, but this is now. Nah, this is a good album, man. Shout out to um, Primo the Great and uh, Jamal Johnson on this project. Um, if I have to give it to it, this, this project's tight, man. I'm going to have to do it. I haven't done it in a while, man. And it's only a, you know, it's a small project, but I'm giving this a five out of five, man. I'm giving this album a five out of five. This project a five out of five. I'm giving it a classic. Bam. Fight me in the comments. But y'all got to listen to it first. So y'all never even heard of the MC or the producer. So check for that record. Go check it out. And then get back to me in the comments. And then we can fight. But yo, it's a really, really good project. And I can't wait for more. Shout out to the brothers. Shout out to quality music. Shout out to good music. Shout out to Lynn Mass. Shout out to Virginia, man. I'm coming back home to Beantown. Boston, baby. We in the house. Beantown? Support if you can.